Hi Fibernatics, I'm Tori with Feathertail Fiber Arts and today we're going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite breeds, Lester Longwool. Uh. <laughs> At the end of this video, I'll be sure to include some photos so you guys can see some of the different um, colorways and yarns that I've made using this particular breed. Now the first fleece that I want to show you is a colored lamb fleece from K. Um, these are, you can see the individual locks here. Pull one out for you. So this is an individual lock from the fleece. So you can see that they are very long. They have this beautiful wavy curl. Um, and this particular fleece has a lot of gorgeous gray color variation throughout the fleece. It is very, very clean. This is raw fleece. It has not been washed yet. So this one has some beautiful natural coloring in it. This is all completely undyed. And you can see, um, I think I've talked about this in another video, but in the tips, you can tell it's a lamb fleece because of the little tiny curlicues at the very end of the staple. The second fleece that I want to show you a sample of today is another lamb fleece from a beautiful ewe named Lacey. And you can see the lights just catching it beautifully right now. You can see the glowing shininess of this fleece. It is so beautiful. And you can just about imagine when covered with dye, this fleece really ke uh, keeps that shine and luster to it even when it's covered with the dye. And it makes those colors so much more deep and rich. It's really beautiful. So again, looking at the tips, you can see that that's a lamb fleece based on the tiny little curlicue tips on the ends. You can see how bright of a luster um, that this fleece has. It's really gorgeous, that same long staple length. Let me pull a staple of this for you to see. Same long staple length, and this one, let's see if you can, there we go. Um, you can see that Lester long wools, depending on the fleece, the adult fleeces, the locks tend to be a little bit thicker, wider, um, and shorter. Because these were lamb fleeces, they have more staple length and they are also a little bit thinner and more defined in the lock structure. Um, that being said, the adult fleeces have some really stunning curls to them that are a little bit broader and they still take that dye really, really well. So adult Lester Longwell fleeces are by no means of lesser quality than the lamb fleeces. They might be a little bit stronger as far as how soft they are, but they are still beautiful for dyeing and easily applicable to any, any fiber craft. Now, if you want to see what um, Lester Longwell looks like when it's been combed out or straightened out and spun, this beautiful fleece was a adult gray U fleece that I spun a few years ago. And you can see that subtle variation in the grays, that natural coloring is really stunning. And it still retained a lot of that original luster. You can see the variation in luster in this, the lights catching it really nice. So that's what that looks like. This is a really great strong yarn. This is something that works really well for outerwear, things that aren't necessarily gonna be worn next to your skin. Um, you can use this for weaving, rug making. There's a lot of different uh, crafts that work very, very well with Lester Longwool. Another one of my favorite things to do with Lester Longwool, personally, is to lock spin it. And this isn't particularly Lester Longwell. I don't have a yarn with that in it currently, but this is a similar breed that'll just give you an idea um, of one of the ways that you can incorporate this into other yarns. With this one, you can spin it right into the yarn and leave these really cute little tails hanging out and it gives you this really gorgeous textured um, finished yarn, finished art yarn. So that is one way that you can incorporate locks into your yarn. You can also just take the locks, fluff them up a little bit, and spin them as is. So those are some of my favorite things to do with Lester Longwell. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've never had a chance to try this breed, definitely go out and find a source for it. We typically have Lester Longwell in our shop. So go to feathertailfiberarts.com and check that out to see if there are any. 
Also, if you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe down below for any future